Hey, what's up, YouTube? Make sure you check out part one. This is a continuation part two, and there will be a final one, part three. And these are all the games that are going to run on your Pi 3 running emulation station or a track mode. Please enjoy. Fighter Destiny 1 and 2 both run very good. Fighting Force 64 runs but way laggy, so I gave it a yellow. Flying Dragon, yellow, runs but way laggy. Forsaken 64, super laggy in the menu, but once you get it into the game, it's actually really playable. Uh, could not get this to boot up. This the GT64 also crashes on me, um, unplayable. Gone of Legends is just you won't load. This is uh, many people have that issue. I've heard it on uh, YouTube a lot. Gex 3 and Gex 64 both run really good. Glover crashes on the boot, so don't load that game. Uh, Gomen works good. Golden Nugget 64 runs really good. It should. I mean, it's a really simple poker game. Harvest Moon runs well. Green. Hercules runs really well. Um, intermittent slowdown, yeah, if you get into like a lot of people going on screen, it does hang your legs. Hexen, I, I crashed during when I was trying to get into the game, so I couldn't get past the menus. Hey, you Pikachu requires a peak, uh, a Pikachu, it requires a microphone. It's like a karaoke type of game. So that one, I wouldn't even mess with it. It uh, requires some, uh, some hardware that's not on your pie. Hot Wheels. Turbo racing, laggy, especially at the start of the of the, but it kind of gets better as you go through the level. It's kind of a cool game too, so it might be worth playing. I give it a yellow, but it might be around that yellow green area. So we have Hybrid Heaven runs great. Green Hydro Thunder runs great. Has a little bit of slowdown, but runs. Iggy's Wrecking Ball uh, freezes in many red. So this Bass Hunter was the one I was talking about where it kind of like the screen starts to flicker, which is really annoying. Um, I agree with GitHub on this one. So it's kind of, it's green, but it's kind of weird. You'll see when, if you really want to play a fishing game, you'll see when you play it. Indiana Jones uh, doesn't load, it has a black screen. Indy Racing 2000 runs great green. So um, these games are way better than FIFA, all three of them run really great compared to FIFA. So if you want to play soccer, I recommend the International Soccer over the FIFA series of games. Track and field, I got red. Uh, just had a black screen. Maybe if you wait a little while, it might take a little longer to load, but I had black. Jeopardy, definitely playable, a little laggy at times, but that game's okay if it's laggy because it's like a, a quiz show. So if you want to play a motorcycle racing game, I recommend this one the most. It runs out of like Excite Bike and some of the uh, Supercross games. This one runs really well. So green there. Uh, Jet Force uh, Gemini Freezes. Now this one's out of order. I don't know why there's a D game in the J game, but uh, I put it on the spreadsheet in order and it's playable. Um, so we're good there. Ken Griffey. So again, if you want to play, a, we're talking sports games, so baseball games, this is one of the better foreign baseball games if you want to play it. Uh, Killer Instinct's way laggy, major slowdowns, red in my, in my opinion. Kirby is a green. Knife Edge is a green, runs good. Knockout Kings, uh, red, it was just too, or I'm sorry, yellow, but way, way laggy, barely playable. Same thing with NBA Courtside, really laggy, barely playable. Lego Racers, uh, some graphical tearing, like you can't see your car sometimes, but uh, it's totally playable, so I'm gonna give it a green. Both Zeldas are a green. They both perform better with an overclock, if you do do that. Load Runner is slow in minis, but gameplay is good, so green. MRC, uh, yellow, runs okay, but graphics way messed up. Yeah, you're, this is the one where you can't see your, your car and you can't always see this stuff, so it's a yellow, it's not really playable. Mace, the Dark Age, uh, green, runs good. Now all the Maddens are either super laggy or don't even load, you can see my notes on this, um, except 99, so if you're gonna play one, play 99, that one seems to run the best. Uh, Magical Tetris Challenge, runs great, it's a Mickey Mouse um, Tetris if you wanna play it. 
Uh, Major League Baseball, Ken Griffey Jr. Super laggy and it even freezes. Mario Golf crashes when you play it. Mario Kart, great game, solid green. All the Mario parties, solid green. Mario Tennis, uh, yellow, pretty laggy, but uh, if you really want to play it, it's playable. Mega Man runs great, very good game. Um, the uh, Mia Ham 64 Soccer runs well, so another, uh, if FIFA doesn't run really well, but play this game instead. Mickey Speedway, another great game. Between Diddy Kong Racing, Mario Kart, and this game, these are the probably the top three kart games. Micro Machines can lag a little bit, uh, but uh, it runs good. If you, especially it's a great for two players. Uh, Midway's Arcade is great. This is good. Um, Strike Zone runs good. Astro Lanes runs well, a little laggy at first. Mischief Makers runs good. Mission Impossible. Uh, it's way laggy. I would give this one a, a red or a yellow. Monaco Grand Prix. Uh, the menus are all, all messed up and you can't really see what you're doing, but it is playable. So for that reason, I gave it an A. I gave it a green. Uh, Monopoly. It's a little laggy at first, but once you get the game going, it's okay, but cutscenes can be a little laggy. So it is a little slower, um, but it's playable, so it's a green. Monster Truck Boots, but it's super laggy, unplayable, red. Mortal Kombat 4, actually the Mortal Kombat series on here actually runs pretty decent, all things considered. So all three Mortal Kombat games, including Sub-Zero, are a green. Miss Pac-Man, Maze Madness will not launch. Mystical Ninja is a green, works good. Both NASCAR games run really well, they're extremely similar games. Kobe Bryant, uh, way laggy, unplayable, red, hang time, freezes in game, NBA Jam 99 and 2000, both freeze in game. Uh, it's not until you get to the live, NBA Live 2000, laggy but playable, 99 was even better, less lag than 2000, and also playable, so it got a green. Um, all these NBAs in the zone and Showtime got reds. Not worth playing. NFL Blitz. Um, the regular one, 64, got a red. The 2000, 2001, and the special edition got yellow. It's way laggy. Maybe if you uh, overclock. With the quarterbacks, we have uh, yellow on 98, yellow on 99, and then it just gets worse. Red and red on 2000 and 2001. Then we get down to NHL. Uh, 99, all of them are uh, super laggy and unplayable. Like none of the NHL games except uh, Breakaway 99. So this was by far the best out of the NHL games, but there's actually a better hockey game that we're getting to later in the list that I, I suggest over this one. Uh, next one up, the uh, Namco Museum doesn't boot, so got a red. New Tetris, oh, I'm sorry, uh, the Winter Olympics got a Green. So green on the Winter Olympics plays well, and Namco also got a, oh, doesn't boot. Sorry guys, so red on this one. Tetris, it's super playable, a little laggy, but super playable. And it's only laggy when like on that right side here, it's all filled up. So that's a, a green for me. Nightmare Creatures is a really dark game. Like you need to mess with your screen brightness and stuff to get it to work. I mean, for that reason, I'm giving it a yellow. It's just, you know, if you really want to play the game, you can, but it's not good. It's not a green. Nuclear Strike, we got green. Works really well. Off-Road Challenge, I gave it a, um, a yellow. You can see me play it in some of my other videos. Uh, a video I posted last week, actually. And uh, it runs fine. It's just a little laggy. If you really want to play the game, it's playable. So it's kind of a greenish yellow. Ogre Battle 64, crashes after initial cutscene. Title screen's very slow. I agree with GitHub on that, and that's the same experience I had. Olympic Hockey 98, crashes in the startup screen. Uh, PGA Tour, freezes in the game, red. Paper Mario, green, runs good. Uh, Paper Boy, runs really well. Some graphical glitches while you're playing it, but a green, totally playable. Penny Racers is a green. Perfect Dark is a green, but it has occasional lag. Pilot Wings. Uh, some minor slowdown, but uh, definitely playable. 
So that's a green thing. Pokemon games. Pokemon Puzzle League got a won't boot. So this one does not play. It is a red. Pokemon Snap actually plays really well. Very, if you want to play this game, it runs really well. Okay, yeah, so Pokemon Stadium 1, green. Pokemon Stadium 2, red does not work. Uh, Polaris, we have a uh, graphics way off unplayable. Yeah, it's just the graphics are too messed up. Maybe if you change emulators, but it is a red. Next, we have Power Rangers. Yep. Yeah. Uh, crashed. Crashed the whole pie. We actually, just a hard crash. We had to reboot the system. Uh, Powerpuff Girls. Uh, they say it doesn't work on GitHub. I had it work no problem, so it's a green. Premier Manager runs good, but what the hell is this game all about? Like, who wants to play this game? I don't know. So Quake, both Quakes run. Uh, the Quake 64 runs good. The Quake 2 is very laggy. I'm giving it a yellow. So Quake 64, green, Quake 2, yellow. Quest, um, green. So we got a lot of greens coming up. I'm just gonna go through them really quick. Rage, rage, green. Uh, the only green, rally challenge. You can't see your car. Like your car is like a black box. But other than that, it actually runs really good. Both Rampages are really fun games and work really great. Uh, Rat Attack does not boot. Raymond 2, green, solid green, really good game. Razor, you want it like, like a Tony Hawk type of game, but on a Razor scooter, runs really well. Revolt, though, does not run well. Way too slow to play, red. Ready to Rumble Boxing 1 and 2, both green, really good. Uh, Resident Evil 2 did not boot. Road Rash and... Uh I hope you enjoyed part two. Please click over to part three where we finish the alphabet as well as I show you my spreadsheets and how I organize it so you can go ahead and look up any game you want specifically. If you could please like and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. There's some Amazon affiliate links down below if you want to get this set up for yourself. And we'll see you guys and girls next time.